That's an old and wonderful word of welcome for this day, ladies and gentlemen. It's Happy Thanksgiving. May I say Happy Thanksgiving and welcome to Two Hours of Stars. Originally conceived and shortwaved overseas seven years ago, its presentation every Thanksgiving and Christmas Day has been continued through the years as a public service, symbolizing the goodwill and fellowship Americans share together during the holidays. And here to start the festivities is the young Metro Golden Mayor Star Discovery, regarded by many as the greatest tenor since Caruso, Mario Lanza. <laughs> for the wind to die down so I could introduce them to you. Miss oh. Vague, Mary Olanza. I do. I mean, how do you do? For a moment, I... I thought I was on the bride and groom program. I, uh, I understand that uh, Mr. Knox has had a very interesting career. Oh, oh, yes. Mario is just a G.I. visiting Hollywood when he was invited to a party given by some stars. He made such a hit singing, it led to his debut in Hollywood Bowl. Oh, well, I shouldn't wonder, Mr. Lancer. The moment I heard you, I got goose pimples. <laughs> now, I'd like to take you under my wing. Now, I've got goose pimples. <laughs> Tell me, Mr. Lancer, how in the world do you get those exquisite pear-shaped toes? Well, it's very simple, Miss Vague. I have what is known as an elliptical esophagus. Oh, you poor boy, could I get you a pillow? <laughs> oh, uh, uh, you, must have, you must have just worn yourself out studying before you arrived in Hollywood, didn't you? No, I really didn't study at all. I picked up everything myself. Oh, I see. I don't suppose you're in the mood to pick anything up today. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and, uh, Mr. Lanza, I don't mind telling you that, uh, that I'm a patron of the arts. I discovered Lawrence Milchior and Arturo Toscawini. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're a little late with Mario, Miss Big. MGM's already signed him to a seven-year contract. They even got him to lose weight. Oh. Used to weigh 270 pounds. Yes, I lost 100 pounds. There's hardly anything left of me. Uh, well, I'm glad you kept the best part. <laughs> <laughs> and, 
Uh, you know, Mr. Uh, Mr. Uh, uh, I'm quite a student of the opera myself, you know. Oh, really? Well, how do you like Puccini and Verdi? Oh, love it. Love it. Of course, I really prefer Ravioli and Simone. <laughs> Miss Bay, Puccini and Verdi are composers of the opera. Oh, yes. Oh. You know, a few weeks ago, I went to see Il Trovatore. Oh, really? What hospital is he in? <laughs> Miss Vague, Il Trovatore is not a man named Trovatore who is ill. Oh, well, I'm glad to hear he's feeling better. You know, opera can be so upsetting. The night I went to see Siegfried, I went home and dreamed the dragon that attacked Siegfried was squeezing the breath out of me. What do you suppose that meant? It means I'll have to stop sleeping with my girdle on. <laughs> <laughs> well, shame on me. <laughs> You know, I'm seriously considering uh, putting on my own opera, Mr. Ricci. I went to the heads of the Metropolitan, and I think they're going to let me use the magic flute. The Metropolitan is going to let you use the magic flute? Yes. What makes you think so? Well, they told me to blow. <laughs> and did you? Yes, I did. Well, here's your chance to do it again, Miss Vague. While Mario goes ahead with that encore, Elgin has promised I'll... <laughs> From Puccini's Tosca, here's the thrilling aria... E lucevan le stelle, sung by Mario Lang.
sin, stay forever pure.